What's up guys? Welcome back to Man Cave Collectible Reviews. Coming at you this week with a uh, second toy hunt in two weeks. Uh, I've been doing kind of like bi-weekly toy hunts, but I wanted to get out and, and look for some stuff and just see what's out there. The Street Fighter figures at Target, uh, you know, the new retro carded TMNT figures at Walmart. So, you know, there's a couple things I want to get out and look for. We'll go hunt for those. Um, we're at Walmart, as you can see here, uh, where we'll be starting things off. So. Yeah, hang around. We'll do a little bit of a haul video at the end of this. I got some cool stuff that's come in over the last week, so we'll take a look at all that. Let's get right to it. All right, guys, we are in Walmart. Let's see what we got up in here. We got some G.I. Joe classified figures, which we've seen over and over again. It's uh, Gung Ho, Baroness back in there, Lady J. It's nothing, nothing really new. We will get Miss Lady J up off the floor. Moving on down, got a couple basic wrestling figures. Do have the Brock Lesnar, which we haven't seen in a while. It's been out for a while. We haven't, uh, haven't seen it in a while. Got some new Demon Slayer down here. Pretty cool looking. That's a lot of box for not a lot of stuff. Superstars there, got some AW Luminaires. There's the uh, Chris Jericho. Ooh, might be the, that actually might be the first time I've seen him in stores. I don't know that I've seen him in stores yet. A couple of them in there, so that's pretty cool. Got the Masters, nothing really new there for us. Stuff we've been seeing. Star Trek stuff. A little bit of Star Wars up here. Got the uh, speeder bike, Obi Wan. Got Migs back in there. Grief. A couple retro carded figures. There's a uh, TBC Obi Wan there. Pretty cool. Bit of multiverse, Wonder Woman back in there. The new superpowers, which we've seen for weeks on end, hanging out there. There's the Black Adam, Batman. Actually, actually, really like that Black Adam. I think that would be the one I would want if I was collecting. I was a Black Adam guy. I needed one for my shelf. That would be the guy. Got Hush. I hate he doesn't have any of his guns with him. This is pretty cool here. Here's the three and three quarter for the new Batman Flash movie. And that Batmobile looks really good. And uh, three and three quarter there. I don't know if it opens. Yeah, cockpit opens so you could put a figure in there. Um, plastic tires, not rubber, but still would actually look pretty good on a shelf, I would have to say. There is the new Avengers Puff Adder Wave. Wonder Man. Lena. There is He Who Remains from that wave. Coming on down. The uh, saber tooth there, he's the only one from that wave. Coming on down to Jurassic Park. Over there is the new turtles wave there, which we will take a closer look at. Check that out, Baxter. There's the frog, wing nut. That is fantastic. Very cool, very cool. Coming on down, got some transformers. Transformer stuff going on here. Got the Air Razor, Bumblebee from Rise of the Beast. Got some legacy stuff. Uh, more legacy down here. There's Galvatron from Legacy, which we've seen. Yeah, so yeah, the hit of the day is uh, on this uh, these turtles right here. Gotta, gotta pick that up, Baxter up maybe. All right, we are in the NECA section. 
Got the red hood there. That's a really good looking figure, actually. Got the uh, Slash, which we've been seeing. Got the Franken Monster back there with the Gremlin figure. Got the Jaws. Got Hudson. I need to uh, be, be finding uh, Brooklyn and, and um, Broadway. They're hitting, so I got to, got to put my hands on them. Got the uh, unarmored Mikey there. Spoiler alert if you haven't read it. best action figures oh here is a different Walmart with a four pack which I will buy at some point if I ever find one with a box but look at this look at this box every one I find is completely jacked I don't know what happened with these so I'm on a mission to find one but some kind of movie two pack now is that is that a sale price <laughs> uh, oh, it says retail fifty nine. But man, what a what a sucky way to uh, put that on that box. All right, I think that is it. Lots of pops down there. I am going to pick up the frog here. He's coming home with me. So thought he was cool looking, and uh, he was the only one with a pretty nice looking uh, card back. So we'll look for the rest and uh, get good cards on them. I definitely need the Baxter. So all right, guys. We're in Target. Uh, Walmart was a amazing, I think. Oh, so good to see those Turtles figures. Like, who would have thought in 2023 the figures that we grew up playing with in the early 90s would be back on the shelves and be some of the coolest things on the shelf at Walmart. I just think that's so cool. So, still got to find the Baxter. Um, so, we'll, we'll be on the lookout for him. And foot soldiers can't have enough of those guys. So, but yeah, we're at Target. Let's see what's on the shelves. A little bit of Armada Starscream. That's a great looking figure right there. Very cool. Got the uh, 86 movie RC there. Got the movie, the new movie, Nest Auto by Ratchet. Oh, the McFarlane is gone. Man, what the heck is going on? Gone, gone. Yeah, Joe Cobra Vipers. I saw it Some She-Hulk. That's the only legend. Where is the stuff? What has happened at Target? I do got some wrestling stuff. Wrestling. Wrestling. Got the mecha neck down here. What? Some stratos. Got the big dummies. Big Leos. The three pack there. Got some more turtles up there. Let's see what those are. Storage shells. Raph, Mikey. Raph. Everybody but Donnie. No Donnie. To the Skies Turtles. The T Rex. Which is one of my favorites. Dreadnoughts. Can't beat that. Check that out. $4.49 for the Legacy Collection. Jurassic stuff. So that's very cool. There's the, the Raptor. And uh, I don't see any of the new, like, 93 stuff. I don't think. Yeah, all this is just the current stuff. Alright, we got the big Bowser. So uh, that movie is amazing. Got to see it this week. Bought it on iTunes. Mario. Yeah, that movie is fantastic. High recommend from me. Got some Mario and Sonic stuff up there, which I think we've already seen most of. Got some 12 inch Yoshi, Luigi down there. Some of the little diorama pieces there. Do got some legends down here though. 
kind of hidden back in here. A lot of Spider-Man 20. Are they all Spider-Man 20 99s? Uh, I think <laughs> no, there's Miles back in there. So we said we saw all these last week at a different target. So yeah, they're all good. And there's our Hot Wheels, a little bit more Spider Verse down here on the end. There's kind of the cheaper budget options of the figure. Let's go check out NECA. All right, there is a Leo way out of place down there. Frankenstein kit. There is one of the uh, NECA Stern Pinball Loot Crates, which is cool. Got that exclusive action figure in it. Some screw nut, screw nut, a <laughs> wing nut and screw loose. These are pretty cool right here. A little overpriced, I actually wanted these, um, but they're like $27 for the two pack of those little things. And I'm like, man, I, I ain't doing that. Y'all know me, I'll spend when I need to, but that's that's bonkers. Should be like 27 for the whole, you know, the whole team. Got some Demona, Hudson, that we keep seeing. Lots of gremlin options there. That's a cool one right there. That's awesome. Um, got the Scorch Gremlin. Zombo. A little creep show action. I don't know if I've seen that before, maybe. Lots of ET Puppet Master. The Monsters. The thing back in there. Plenty of Predators. Predator, Predator 2. That is it. Let's move on. All right, guys. We are back in the man cave toy hunt over. Found some new TMNT. Got to love that. That's always at the top of my priority list is finding Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We went ahead and picked up the frog. You know, we've got Genghis Frog here. Um, you know, obviously we need still Baxter. I still need a Leatherhead, and I didn't get Leatherhead, and here's why. Do you see that on the side? So many, many weeks ago, I passed on a Leatherhead because of this, hoping I could find one that didn't have that. Well, apparently they all have that now. That looks terrible from a display standpoint, and you can't take it off. It's inside of that bubble. That really sucks. At least it's not on the front. You know, if you're just displaying it on the wall like this, you know, you're not necessarily going to see it super well, but I mean, it's in there. You can see it from this angle, obviously that angle. That's a little disappointing. I'm guessing it's some type of a security tape that's inside there just to keep people from stealing it. So kind of sucks. It is not on. Like you can see here, I have this one. This is sent from Playmates. You can see it does not have, uh, you know, that on is sent directly uh, from Playmates. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see, like, if you go out and order on, like, Entertainment Earth. Um, I'll put a link to Entertainment Earth uh, for this pack. So you can go in and order these off Entertainment Earth for retail price. Um, if you use my link, you'll get free shipping with them as well. So, you know, if you're having trouble finding them, just go out and do that. I'll, again, the link will be down in the description for those. My guess is ordering from like Entertainment Earth, you won't have that security tape there. So just something to think about. All right, guys, next up, look at this. Mattel, Mattel Ghostbusters. Now, this is not your average Ghostbusters. To start it off, Undertaker. Check this out. It's like the ectoplasm version of Undertaker. Even the belt is kind of green, kind of looks like, uh, you know, slime. Just the box presentation is amazing. Look at that Ghostbusters logo across the top. Undertaker, Undertaker here. It doesn't say like ectoplasm or whatever. It doesn't actually say, but you know, I'm just kind of, but is that not one of the coolest things you've ever seen? So yeah, Amazon had these up for, I think it was like 124 for the whole set. Shawn Michaels right here. Obviously my favorite all-time wrestler. As a Ghostbuster, how, how, how could I not pick this up? You know, so cool. This may be one of my favorite ones. Austin, I can't say he's one of my favorite wrestlers ever. He, he's a legend, no doubt about that. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, but he's actually in like the full jumpsuit. It, it, it's so, this one looks awesome. I kind of, I wish the collars were, you know, the collar was turned down. I, I don't really like how the collar is, 
kind of up around, you know, his face like that. I don't know if every one of them would be that way or if it's just that one. John Cena, he looks pretty cool. You can see there. He's awesome looking. He's got on like the black shirt with his name on it there. Got his proton pack. And then last but not least, we've got The Rock. So kind of sucky, The Rock here. He has got, like his box is damaged up here in the corner. He's the only one uh, that is that way. So that, I don't know, I may have to try to, I really wanted these like mint and package, um, but he looks good. He's got kind of the full suit, but it looks like he's cut the arms out of it, which, you know, that would be classic rock. So yeah, very, very nice. That is the Ghostbusters WWE collaboration. Box said it's, it's awesome. Like I said, WWE, Ghostbusters, I, I had to grab it. I think those will look really cool hanging on the wall somehow in here. I, I really want to find some protectors for them, but I have to figure out, you know, I'm, I'm sure they didn't make protectors specifically for these guys, but they're a little thicker than like your average, you know, Marvel Legend or, or, or you know, classified figure. You can kind of see there, like there's, there's kind of like your Lightning Collection, Marvel Legend, G.I. Joe Classified box. You can see it's a, it, the, the box is taller, it's thicker, uh, you know, it's it's wider as far, you know. So I'll have to try to find something or some way uh, to display these. So, yeah, I'll be on the hunt for that. Or if anybody knows, drop a comment down below. So, guys, that's it. That's it for this week's toy hunt. Um, there's probably some other stuff that's come in from a haul standpoint. I can't remember what I showed you guys last week versus what's coming this week. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess. You can see back here, I've got, uh, you know, a Mr. Sintastic style, uh, you know, mountain of toys just growing along this entire wall back here, all the way over to that side of the man cave. So I got to do something with all this. Uh, it's it's just going to take time and effort. And I don't know, I've kind of been thinking about like, do I need to get out of some lines or what do I need to do in order to kind of streamline my collection because it really is getting out of hand with all the different lines and things that I've been trying to collect. So I don't know more to come on that in the coming days, weeks, months, and years. Um, something that we all struggle with as collectors, I guess. Um, one more thing. Uh, I did find a custom cape for my 1989 Mezco Batman. Look how much better this looks than the original one that comes, you know, factory in the packaging. This thing just lays right down on him. It looks fantastic. If any of you guys are interested in this or where I got it, I can shoot you a link into the comment section. So if there's anybody out there with a Mezco Batman, I think it was 25 bucks. So it wasn't bad at all. It's got bendy wire in it. To me, it looks a hundred times better than the one that came with the figure. So yeah, if you're interested in that, just shoot me a note down in the comment section. So guys, that is it. That's all we got for this week. Drop comments down below. Hit the like button if you're not subscribed to the channel. We'd love to have you as part of the Man Cave Collectible Review Team. More hunts to come. Hopefully I can get back to doing some reviews too on some action figures. I just hadn't had time. Just so much going on with family and work and so much different things. Just hadn't had a lot of time to do the reviews. I love doing the reviews. In fact, sometimes I enjoy that even more than the toy hunts themselves. But uh, yeah, it just takes time. You know, sometimes it's easier to hop up early on a Saturday morning, head out to Target, Walmart, do a toy hunt than sitting down doing a review. That's a lot of, lot of work, a lot of time goes into those. Um, a lot of detailed editing in the videos. You know, they're, they can be a beast to, to put together, but, but I love doing them. So hopefully I can get more time here in the coming, uh, you know, months to be able to do some more of those. But anyways, I've rambled on enough. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Until next time.